Here are the training objectives on this task. Competitors will construct with GTAW and FCAW by processing and attaching the base material for the competition task. Task To construct 10 mm test plate with GTAW and FCAW. Objectives To be able to weld given material with root, fill, and cap passes. Goals to strengthen weld joint preparation and welding skills. To make sound welds without any defects such as undercut, porosity, and slag inclusion. Materials. Two 10 mm thick plate, 250 mm by 100 mm with a 30 degree bevel angle. Root pass is GTAW. Fill and cap passes is FCAW. Welding rod is T50 2.4 mm for GTAW and K71T 1.2 mm for FCAW. Main focus of the task. First, when preparing the weld joints, check if both the root face and bevel angle are uniform. As it is a single V-groove joint, make the bevel on each plate 30 degrees. Next, draw a marking line at the location 1.2 to 2.5 millimeters from the edge of joint root with vernier calipers. After grinding, file the metal precisely up to the drawn line. Second, check the tacking locations, the root gap, and the alignment of the base metal. Use a magnetic base to hold the base materials horizontally. Allow a 3.2 mm root gap at the start of the plate and a 4 mm root gap at the end. Fit a 4 mm round bar at the end of the plate to keep the gap. Then make two tacks without any damage on the root face. Third, when welding stops, starts, be cautious not to cause any welding defects such as porosity, undercut, slag inclusion, overlap, and excessive weld reinforcement. Make sure to dry well and the arc length shall be short to prevent porosity, requirement only for SMAW. To prevent slag inclusions, clean between each pass and grind off stop-start points. Undercut occurs when welding current is too high or the arc length becomes too long. For GTAW, maintain the welding current at 90 ampere to 100 ampere, and for FCWA, maintain welding current at 100 ampere to 140 ampere, and voltage at 16 volts to 22 volts. To prevent overlap, maintain an adequate weaving width and pitch, and uniform travel speed. The weaving width should be maintained as 3 to 4 millimeters while checking the welding puddle formation and travel with uniform speed. Please check the preparations and tools for this training. Precautions If there is no root face, joint root will melt easily and cause burn through at the joint root of the plane. Make the root face of 1.2 to 2.5 millimeters so that is not too sharp. The root face of two plates should be the same so that the entire joint can be welded with the same condition. When reading gradations on the gas flow meter, make sure the gradations and the center of the indicator are in line with each other. To prevent distortion after welding, pre-bend the plates to the opposite direction from the welding surface at about 2 to 4 degrees after tack welding. If weld joint not shielded properly with argon shielding gas, it can cause porosity or inclusions. Make sure the argon gas shield the weld point properly. When weaving for GTAW, make sure the filler metal does not far away from the welding puddle to feed filler metal consistently. When a stop-start welding, beads connection, start the arc from approximately 5 to 10 millimeters back from finished location to make smooth transition of welding beads and reduce the chance of defects. 
FCAW should begin after making two to three spot welds to prevent burn through at the starting point. Please check what you are going to perform on this task. Preparation of base material weld joints. As it is a single V-groove joint, make the bevel on each plate 30 degrees. Maintain root face about 1.2 to 2.5 millimeters after edge preparation. Draw a marking line at the location of 1.2 to 2.5 millimeters from the edge of joint root with vernier calipers. Use a grinder and a file to dress the metal precisely up to the drawn line. The reason for root face preparation. If there is no root face, the joint root will melt easily, causing burn through on the base metal. Check whether the root faces of the two corresponding base metal are even and have no gap between the two when they are brought face to face. Use a file to dress the root faces. A grinder may be used to remove shop primer coating on the weld joint. The root face of two plates should be the same so that the entire joint can be welded with the same condition. If light filters through the gap between the two plates when they put together, that means the root faces are irregular, so the rework should be done. Tack welding for base material. Turn on the gas switch on and adjust the gas flow. Gas flow is 15 to 20 liters per minute and set similar to the flow of carbon dioxide gas and argon gas. When reading gradations on the gas flow meter, make sure the gradations and the center of the indicator are in line with each other. Adjust the root gap and the alignment of the plates. Use a magnetic base to hold the plates in a parallel position. Check misalignment of plates with a steel ruler. Allow a 3.2 mm root gap at the start of the base metal. Use 3.2 mm welding consumable to keep the root gap. Tack weld at the start of the base metal with GTAW process. Welding rod is T-50, 2.4 mm, and welding current is 100 ampere. Tack welding should start from the closer part of the base metal to the outer part and move the torch side to side and feed filler metal evenly. Hold the filler metal with the left hand and the torch on the right when tack welding. At this point, the angle of the filler metal to the weld line should be maintained at 10 to 20 degree. Then, push forward towards the torch where the arc occurs to form weld. To make uniform bead shape and consistent reinforcement of root pass, welding consumable, filler metal, should be evenly fed into the weld puddle. Tack weld at the end of the base metal. Prior to tack welding, allow a 4 mm gap at the end of the base metal. If the root gap is too narrow, use a chipping hammer to widen the gap. Make sure there is no misalignment. If there is misalignment, use a chipping hammer to adjust it by bending it up and downwards.
Fit a 4mm round bar to keep the root gap and tack welding the two points with small tacks without any damage on the root face. If there is too much penetration, it becomes hard to remove tacks of the round bar prior to welding. So, make small tacks to the point where both plates are fixed. When tack welding is completed, check the quality of tack welds. Check the root gap at the start and the end of the base metal. Check any misalignment of the base metal. If there are incorrect parts, dismantle and do rework. Main Welding Preparation and Pre-Bending Prior to main welding, make a U-profile on a tack weld at starting point by grinding with a grinder fitted with 2T grinding disc. The reason for shaping with a grinder is for smooth transition between the weldments of tack welding. Check the condition of U-profile and make a pre-bending of plates to the opposite direction from the welding surface about 2 to 4 degrees to prevent distortion after welding. Root Pass of Base Material Welding after U-shaping grinding on the tack, start root pass welding with GTAW. The welding should be progressed from the right side to the left. Welding position is flat position. Welding rod is T-50, 2.4 millimeters. Welding current is 85 to 100 ampere. When welding current increase, travel speed increase. When welding current decrease, the travel speed decrease. Use argon gas flow 15 to 20 liters per minute. If the weld puddle is not protected from external factors such as wind and exposure to the atmosphere, it can cause porosity or inclusions. Place the nozzle on the V-groove and travel by moving the torch in a half moon or in a zigzag pattern for weaving. It is important to feed constantly so the welding rod does not fall out of the weldment. Keep in mind that if the tip of the filler metal is moving, it means the filler metal is feeding irregularly. Travel angle of the torch should be 70 to 80 degrees opposite to the traveling direction, and the work angle should be kept at 90 degrees. The filler metal angle should be kept at 10 to 20 degrees to the weld line. When weld reaches to the tack at the end where a round bar is located, stop welding. Remove the round bar with a grinder. While grinding, be careful not to make any damages on the root face. When welding stops, starts, beads connection, start the arc from approximately 5 to 10 millimeters back from finished location to make smooth transition of welding beads and reduce the chance of defects. The weaving width should be maintained as 3 to 4 millimeters while checking the welding puddle formation and travel with uniform speed. For the end part of plate, make 2 to 3 spot welds with the arc having short arc length. Connect the welds and finish the root pass. When the root pass is completed, clean out debris with a cup brush.
The next is FillPass. For FillPass, weld with FCAW process. FCAW generates higher heat, so start the arc from the ahead of the start point, then bringing the arc back to the start point. Welding position is flat position. FCAW current is 100 to 140 ampere. FCAW voltage is 16 to 22 volt. Since FCAW uses high current and voltage, the travel speed and the weaving pattern should be maintained uniformly. If the travel speed is low, it can cause slag inclusion or porosity. Keep the wire stick out about 10 to 15 millimeters long. Work angle of welding torch should be kept at 90 degrees and the travel angle at 75 to 80 degrees for FCAW. For the end part of plate, make two to three weld spots with the arc having short arc length. When the welding is completed, remove slag with a chipping hammer. If the slag does not come off easily, crack the center part of the slag with a grinder to make it come off more easily. Clean out the remaining debris with a brush cup. Welding beads may be dressed by a grinder where the bead is not even or can be used for just clean up. The second fill pass. FCAW should begin after making two to three spot welds to prevent overflow of welding at the starting point. Since FCAW using intense heat, filling the groove with one pass could cause welding defects, so fill the fill pass once again. Follow same procedure of first fill pass, but the groove should be filled up to 1 to 2 below the surface. Since FCAW using high current and voltage, the travel speed and the weaving pattern should be maintained uniformly. If the travel speed is low, it can cause slag inclusion or porosity. While weaving, Keep the wire stick out about 10 to 15 millimeters long and weave with short pattern. For the end part of plate, make two to three spot welds with the arc having short arc length. When the welding is completed, remove the slag. Slag should be completely removed to prevent any welding defects such as slag inclusions. If the slag does not come off easily, crack the center part of the slag with a grinder to make it come off more easily. Welding beads may be dressed by a grinder where the bead is not even. Clean out the remaining debris with a cup brush. Groove filled 1 to 2 millimeters lower than the surface of the base metal. Cap Pass For Cap Pass, weld with FCAW process. FCAW should begin after making 2 to 3 spot welds to prevent overflow of welding at the starting point. For cap pass, weave should be in a half moon or in a zigzag pattern. The tip of wire should pause at locations where it does not completely reach the end of the groove while weaving. If the arc isn't paused briefly at both ends, undercut or incomplete penetration can be caused, so make sure to check whether it is deposited properly. While weaving, keep the wire stick out about 10 to 15 millimeters long and weave with short pattern. 
For cap pass, the work angle should be kept at 90 degrees and the travel angle at 90 to 95 degrees, tilting the torch a little downwards from the center while welding. 100% carbon dioxide or mixed gas, argon 80% and carbon dioxide 20% can be used. Currently, the welder is using 100% carbon dioxide gas as welding gas. But some European countries use a mixture of 20% carbon dioxide gas and 80% argon gas. For the end part of the plate, make two to three small beads with the short arc length. Remove all slag and spatter from the completed product. Clean out the remaining debris with a cup brush. The last step is visual inspection. The finished product should get visual inspection and X-ray examination. Is pre-strain of base material properly returned? Is the weld joint free from undercut or underfill? Is the weld joint free from excessive face reinforcement? Is the bead widths uniform and regular? Is the weld joint free from arc strike? Is there any concave bead in the root pass? Is the bead reinforcement uniform and regular? Please check the key points of the task you have done this time. So far, we have looked at the construction of GTAW and FCAW of 10mm test plate. Thank you for your hard work.